This is Scott from KIG. It is Tuesday, February 2nd, 2016. We're going to do a couple runoff videos today of this carrier 35 ton air cooled chiller. And I'm just going to walk over to the unit and put it in enable. First thing that happens there is the pump turns on. I say pump, this has dual. Uh, 4.2 horsepower pumps on it. Uh, one is a backup, which is kind of nice. And first thing we're going to do uh, is you press escape till the screen goes blank. And you can go down to our set points. Enter. Cooling set point one is at 70 now. And we are going to change it. And we're going to cool down today to 45F. a delay before the compressor or compressors turn on. This unit has three scroll compressors. And we got our entering water temperature right now 74.2 degrees. Our leaving temperature 74.2. And once it turns on, uh, we'll monitor that. You can hear one of the compressors uh, turned on already. Now this has three scroll compressors on it. Uh, we only have so many amps here in the building. Uh, we did run all three at the same time, briefly, uh, but we have run each compressor or each compressor in pairs for a long period of time. We know everything on this works works really well. Um, this unit is the RAN series, in which we probably had 30 or 40 of these come through our shop. We've worked on many. This is the 30RAN035K dash dash 611QK. That QK on the end basically is an option code, and this thing has a lot of options on it. It does have the ability to go low temperature, although for this customer we're going to be uh, running in the 40s or 50s. Serial number 3507Q03617. 35 means it was built the 35, 35th week of. 2007, which is the 07. Uh, and this is a 460 volt unit three phase. Again, we got three scroll compressors in here, uh, two pumps, and we have three fans. We have the, sorry, uh, we have the Motormaster low ambient option. That's basically these two VFD drives for head pressure control. So this can be outdoors all year round. Uh, even in colder climates. And so right now, our leaving temperature is 69.6. Our entering temperature is a little, little bit warmer. That delta T will get a little bit bigger. Leaving 69, entering 72.4. That'll be a bit bigger delta T in a little bit when the other compressors kick on. Uh, right now, you have your contactors in here for chilled water pump one, chilled water pump two, fan one. Your compressors, the compressor A1 and A2 circuit there, and your compressor B1 for circuit circuit two here. So it's three compressors. Circuit B1 is one bigger compressor. Circuit A, which consists of compressor A1 and A2, are two smaller compressors. Right now, it's the bigger compressor, the contactor that's kicked on right now. Uh, what we do to test is we have this glycol solution here on our tank station. We're bypassing our pumps, none of them are turned on. 
because we're using the pumps. It's kind of tough to see there. And there's a cover that goes here, and we'll put it back on. Uh, we're using the pumps on the carrier chiller to suction or draw from our tank uh, to go into the, uh, the pump of the carrier chiller, into the braze plate heat exchanger, and then back out to the tank. We have an analog gauge here also. Slowly this tank water will be chilled down. And one nice thing that we do now is uh, we check the flow also. Right now we're running at about 80. You see a little flapper there? about 80 GPM. Very roughly, um, you want your pump or your flow through a plate heat exchanger on a chiller like this to be about two and a half or three gallons per ton. So, I mean, this is a 35 ton. We could probably get a little bit more flow out of that. But that's way, that's way above the minimum required flow in the manual for this thing. So right now, that fan is just going by residual flow, not enough demand. This one's going full bore. So it's really just the one fan that needs to be going right now. And I think we just turned on a second compressor. So... Compressor A1 on circuit one just turned on. Right now, leaving water temperature just a bit above 60. Entering water temperature 67. So for two compressors going, that's about exactly what you want right now. You got about a seven degree delta T. And again, this is gonna ship with a full charge. We'll come back to video number two in a second as we get to that 45 degree, I'm sorry, 45 or 44 degree set point.